All right, guys, welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. Today, we have a lot of things going on with the 401, and we got a big crew behind us. I mean, we got Chelsea from Aviation 101, Josh from Aviation 101. We have Dean. Where's Dean from? Dean, where are you from? From Flying Eyes Optics. I'm the founder. <laughs> so we have Dean here from Flying Eyes Optics, um, and they're here because, well, Sam selling his airplane. Yeah, like the Cougar that we have so much fun in that we've flown all over the place. Yeah. Sam's letting it go. Dean totally talked him out of it. And you guys are going to get your multi in it, right? That's the plan. Yeah. yeah, all four of us are going to get our multi rating <laughs> in the Cougar. So, And you guys saw last week, I went to Brussels. Those wings, those props, these engines, that's all we need. We have a huge amount of parts for the 401, so we're ripping the wings off of it today. We got the Sawzall and the torch out. It's, it's coming off and it's gonna get shipped all over the country and get stuff done. Joe kicked butt and built one hell of an awesome trailer. Uh, we're taking a little cart from Tractor Supply. Already started cutting it up. We're gonna stretch some axles. And we got a whole lot of raw steel. We're gonna make that into something special. We have axles on. It's all braced up, triangulated on the sides finish up the steering the only thing left will be to put the uprights on either side there will be one here one here and it'll hook right to the wings of the 401 I, I can't wait to get the wings off and get started so a lot to do today let's get at it It's right there. I'm getting 79 and a half. On that cylinder. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Looks really good. So Sam has special high compression scored cylinders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Those are extra actually. Those are gonna right. cost you. Yeah, you didn't realize that. I, I didn't tell Dean it just went up. It just right. went up. It retains oil better that way. <laughs> God, who is gonna tell Dean? Yeah, don't tell Dean. Let's warm it up first before we uh, before we check it. Is he okay. around? Oh, here he comes. Shh. Dean, Still this one's like really not holding pressure here. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh. Seriously? Uh, wait a minute. This one's on eighty. Over 40? Less than 40. Wow. That's like supercharged. It's because no, it's turbo. It, it it's was like, perfect. Wait a minute. Everything's perfect. Did you fuck up with the orifice? Did you? <laughs> so. No more orifice. That's what you get for walking away and answering emails, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Looks We're walking away, Dean. It's missing an engine. Oh my gosh. Right, right. <laughs> That's what would happen to one of my airplanes parked in like another state somewhere. <laughs> So I ordered these Flying Eyes sunglasses a number of months ago. Flying Eyes glasses are lightweight, they're very flexible, and they work amazing with your headset or with a helmet. 
I don't know about you guys, but the sunglasses that I use with my headsets in the airplane or with my helmet when I'm riding my motorcycle, they get abused. I break every single pair. But these flying eyes sunglasses are so much different because they're made of reslamide. And these things are flexible. I've sat on these glasses, I've dropped these glasses, and they've really withstood some serious abuse. Now with those other sunglasses, they're a lot thicker on the sides and they interfere with the headsets. Within a half hour or so of flying with any other sunglasses, I get a major headache. With flying eyes, I get zero headaches, I get zero irritation, and my headset fits right over top of the sunglasses, so I get a perfect seal. So whether I'm wearing a headset flying an airplane or I'm wearing a helmet and ride my motorcycle, I love to have my flying eye sunglasses. They're specifically made for that. They're lightweight, they fit great, and they feel good. One of the other things that sold me on these flying eye sunglasses is I was over at an air show and I took my sunglasses over. I showed them to the guys there. They adjusted them. They looked at them. They really care about their products and they stand behind them with a lifetime warranty. And there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't like them, send them back. So guys, if you're a pilot, if you ride motorcycles, if you wear anything around your ears, any type of headset or noise canceling or anything, these sunglasses will just make your head feel better. For your 10% off coupon, make sure you guys use code RESCUE. Click the link down below, get yourself hooked up with a set of flying eye sunglasses. You won't be disappointed. I see, yeah. Hey Jason, here's our sign language. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get these wings off yet? All right. Um, you guys are so cute. Aren't we? <laughs> He's like the uh, mentally challenged and abusive uncle I never had. <laughs> Good old Uncle Sam. Yeah, right. Look at these guys. It's like it's 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 like getting like two women from the uh, church bingo club in the same space. I'm telling you, it's like it's like the two Joes. I swear they got to be brothers. There's no doubt in my mind. They just didn't know it. All right, so what we're going to do, um, you saw in the last video, Joe and Keith actually pulled most all the connections out. Right now, Chelsea's over there with the coil. She's getting all the bolts lubricated. We have four bolts to pull out and a couple other things, and we got to figure out how to make this gantry crane work and not drop the wings. We'll see what happens. I I've never taken a wing off an airplane. Chelsea, you have you taken a wing off an airplane? I don't think so. So this is your first time. I've changed the angle of incidents, which is losing the I've taken wings off. Have you taken wings off, Joe? And put them back. I almost took a wing off my 235 yeah, exactly. the other week. <laughs> 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 Incidentally. <laughs> Incidentally. Incidentally. Yeah. That's a yeah. 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 That was, that, was, that was a rough, rough idea of how to get a wing off. That's a good way to say it. Rapid unplanned disassembly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Is that in the book? Yeah. Oh, that's in the book, that procedure. <laughs> Tilt wing at rapid speed towards ground. Slap nicely. <laughs> wing will depart. One star, will not recommend. Uh, yeah, Two back there. That's it. Stand back. <laughs> Maybe cut off at the uh... breaker box. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Success. I love it, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> How often does that happen? Um, one, 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 one time. <laughs> yeah. One time. We have that all lined up. It's ready to go. It's, it's not going to take, but probably an hour to get maybe each one it's, off. If that. <laughs> it's the eight, eight bolts, right? No, Sam, you're not helping. It only take an hour. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? I ain't saying nothing. 160 hours. It'll 
minimum safe. How many, how many hours? About 160. Two people, two weeks. And this should be flying again. Oh God, we'll be here in four months. We'll be here for four months. I bet you the wings come off quicker than it took to put Sam's Freedom Wings on. What do you want to do, Joe? Well, you want to pull this out or cut it? That one I would cut and then I would cut these. Some of these engine cables are still left in there. We just got to cut those out. Yeah, we're just going to cut them at the wing point because we're going to put new ones in anyhow. I mean, most of those are kind of banged up to begin with, so. No, I mean, that's not airworthy at all. It's yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty rough, man. I don't know that I want to be flying with that. All right, the coil did not work. <laughs> oh, hold on. I have no safety box. How's this going to work? <laughs> I can't get to those. Why not climb underneath the wing? You tell me you can't. But, but, Daddy, I can't. <laughs> it's not enough reach. Um, I don't understand how this Dremel works, but. <laughs> Let me put this on. All right. You got too far in. What are you doing? <laughs> See, mic'd up. All right, Chelsea, I got the tool. It's like working with children. Hey, there's someone in there. Very good, dear. Yeah. Alright. Well, there's a two. Alright. It's about time. <laughs> We do, we got three more. That one down? It might be enough to get us up in the air. Something that's all through. we really care about. No. All right. All right, we'll just cut all four, and when we take the wing off, it'll just come out. Hang on. I, I'll be able to pull it when I get it out. Yeah, this. Oh. It has to just yeah. come out and then pull it out. It's like a yeah. washer there. Yep. But Chelsea, just go ahead and cut all. That's not Chelsea. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. That's where I am. Cut all four, and then when we take the wing off, it'll yeah, just come enough. out. Oh yeah, you're moving. And then do it on the other side. <laughs> I have to tell you, I think I need to go get a Xanax or something. <laughs> we actually, I'll be, I'll be right back. Have you ever seen an airplane this torn apart? Yeah, this is exactly what it was like being an AMP school. Yeah. Everything we have looked like this. Well, did it ever go back together? No. Yeah. Absolutely not. Uh oh. Skyhawk looks like when they just. Hey, isn't that the best pizza? Mmm. That's what I order. Pineapple. That's what I order. Yeah. I usually put hot sauce on too. So I had to run while everybody else was eating lunch and get something done. I had an emergency at home. So now I'm here at the hangar. I come up. I hear a roto zip grinder grinding. I see Sam duck down by the wing. I about had a heart attack. But then I realized it's Chelsea in there. And I'm actually not sure what she's grinding either. So all the work's happening. These wings are coming off. This is awesome. So I'm going to finish my pizza and I'm going to get dug in. This one's smoking a lot. Got it? Yeah. Sure you got it? Yeah, got it now. Yep, thank you.
That's on there. Don't need no pipe for that, baby. I, I brought my pipes. <laughs> So, um, so all these cables are junk. Yeah. Okay. Now they're they cut. Yeah. <laughs> they are now. I will say yes. <laughs> yes. Please say yes. She just cut them all. You know what the coolest thing too is that other wing has the VGs on it too. Nice. New yeah. boots, VGs. Apparently an extra fuel tank. It's always good. <laughs> That's the stupidest design I've ever seen. Where? Let's put a gas tank right behind it. Oh no, this, the new wings have a gas tank here and behind there. That's a turbo right there. The yeah. turbo mounts right there on the other yeah. side of that. It's hey, only that's... this far apart. I always try to put my turbo the most flammable place as possible. <laughs> I, know. I like to put my turbo directly in the gas tank. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, it's, it's, it's gas cooled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks pretty evenly strapped. Yeah. All right. Release tension. So, what? How are we here on the bolt? They're all loose. Basically, so like drive them out. And we're not replacing. I mean, we are replacing all the bolts. So it would literally be a driving amounts fine. Yeah. 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 It's so awesome, really, to get to this moment when. You know, the wings are going to come off. It's just one step closer to getting it done, and it's another step closer to having this thing flying and finding all those parts over in Holland. Man, it's going to go together so quick now. We're going to ship this fuselage off all over the country, and it's going to get work done. Like, it's just a dream. Everything's coming to fruition, and it, it just feels really good. It's really nice the wings pull off an airplane on the ground, not in the air, too. Yeah. <laughs> Says the guy who flies freedom. Circuit. <laughs> 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 little tension. Two more. That sounded promising. It did. There's the first uh, first bolt. That uh, came out. All right, so this is the last bolt, and after that, I'm pretty sure everything's going to separate. It's gonna come apart. So we're actually gonna need, um, kind of hold on to the wing a little bit on the end and make sure everything's balanced out, and then we'll push it off, and hopefully it just kind of comes off and this stays where it's supposed to. Guess we'll see. We will see. Famous last words. You ready, Sam? Yes. Why am I nervous? I'm like never nervous, and I'm nervous. That was it? <laughs> why, why did I think something big was gonna happen? <laughs> but it right? just didn't. I think our next move is to uh, put a little tension on it. Chelsea, would you like would you like the honors? Yes. Are, you <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. All right, stop. Yeah, let's take a fuselage up. Well, fuselage. and the the gears extending. Fuselage is off the the jacks. Can one person hold here? Yeah. And there, um, Sam, if you could hold that fuselage. Yep. See if that did anything. Uh, uh, about an eighth of an inch. Really? Yeah, it looks like it's it's okay. okay. I'd say keep doing it. Oh. Okay. Do you want me to go up a little bit to Um sure, yeah. Ooh. That didn't 
sounds good. Oh. That was uh, fiberglass. Not that it really matters, but. I, was, I wasn't saving that part for anything anyway. Is there a winch on the front of that go kart? Or whatever? There is. <laughs> go kart. Jeez. I gotta go. Ouch. I gotta go apologize to Gus for you. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> For me, like I'd rather analyze it a little bit, move it around, shake it around, see what it's going to do. The only thing that moves is that obviously moved a little bit this way, um, yeah. but not much at all. He's stand back. He's stand back. That's the one. Oh, it's moving. Was it moving here or just all that? Not much on the second one. This is the one that like, you know what? Let me look under this flap a second. So as it turns out, we're like wiggling this around and it dawned on me when I saw one of these apart in a picture. That if you look under the flap, it's got one, two, three, four, five bolts that we never took off. That would do it. So five bolts, five There's bolts will make a difference. Five above it. There's five on the top too. There's yeah. 10 of them. Oh my gosh. Where's the Sawzall? <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys look right inside here, that's where all the nuts are to those attaching bolts. And there's the, the bottom side. Wow. This ought to make it a lot easier. I can't believe, so that is going to be a really difficult uh, thing to, uh, to get loose. Do you have to hold a wrench on the one side and sock it on the um, other? So the bottom one, we're gonna be able to use an Allen. The top one, we're gonna have to hold an Allen and then get inside there with a wrench and it's gonna be like a, oh. like a little turn. All right, so we're gonna pull straws. Whoever has the smallest hands gets to do Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sell standing around watching? Would you like somebody to hold a wrench or what? Uh, it's my job to stand around and watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right. If somebody could hold this first one up top. My thought is how much, uh, because that's detached up there, so how much, uh, you know, stress we, do they have right. on them right now because right. of different stuff to unstress them. Some aromatherapy in a good book. <laughs> <laughs> nice massage. Um, do you want to go ahead and just get to put some tension on here with the, the remote there? Good. It's real slow. So, hang on a second. The, um, Pull the flap up. Well, no, I know, oh. but there's a lip on the flap that will stop the bolts from coming out. Uh, really? Yeah. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Son of a gun. Yeah, that's gonna just hide them. Okay. And it's gonna stop them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, let her down. Oh yeah, look at that. Or we could uninstall the flap. Yeah. But, I mean, unless we redid the straps to grab here and to grab on the other side. Instead of crisscross underneath, we could have it you over to that and I then you that, over to that. But is this, oh, that's only fiberglass. It's metal. So, it's 3.30 and I have to go pick up the dogs. And you guys have had a really long day. 
in a really long couple of days. But yeah, I think, uh, I, I think you know, everybody's worked really hard. I think we called a day. Um, I think we'll clean up the hangar, try to figure out how to get these airplanes in here and uh, you know, go get some dinner. You guys in? Excellent. That sounds good. Awesome, let's do it. So we're back here in the hangar working on the 401. We had such a good time with all that, with, every, with Chelsea and with Josh and with Dean and everybody that was here helping out. But in all the excitement and in working on getting the Cougar pre-buy done, we didn't get the wing off. So we're back here today and we're gonna get this wing off. But before we do that, we thought it might be good for us to maybe strap down the 401 to our lift tables, um, just so it doesn't fall off. Usually not a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be a good thing if it fell off. We do have this really cool trailer over there that Joe built that we will secure to this once we have it off, but we have a ton of bolts and different stuff to unhook. I think right there in front of the windshield, I'll just come under here. You good over there? All right. So now we just got to get underneath here, get the rest of these bolts out, and uh, Sam's going to rip that wing right out of the socket, and uh, we'll be halfway done. All right, so it looks like we got 10 bolts pound out of here. Ooh. Right there, huh? Yeah, you're up against. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, it's up against, up against. What's it up against? Uh, the outer skin. Huh. It's putting an Audi. Is it? Starting to. Huh. So I wonder how you're supposed to get those in and out without it doing that. I mean, the lower ones, because the flap goes down, I think you got plenty of clearance, but up there, yeah. It hits that one brace. Do you see any way around it? Not really. All right, let me see it. Oh, yeah, it is. It's putting a little. Yeah, I just happened to look up. I was like, <gasps> yeah, right here's the rivet that hooks into this other skin, and it is right up against there. Good thing we didn't take a saw up through here like we were talking about. Well, honestly, what I see is, so the bolts are coming in from the rear to the front. It would have been much nicer if they would have put in from- Front to rear. The front to the rear, then there wouldn't be any clearance uh, issues taking them out. You know what I'm about ready to do? <gasps> Cut a little hole in the wing right there. Yeah. Why not? It'd make it a lot easier. This is for fixing fingernails. This is for grinding stuff. Oh, you're saying that's a Chelsea one? Sam would have been using scissors, so I don't know if he has any room to talk. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to hurt me a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Other than doing that, I'm not really sure how else um, I could have got those out without ruining the wing. We have new wings for it, so it's not as big of a deal, but we do have to get those back in when we put the new wings on. I really wonder how you would normally do that if you're swapping wings out. I mean, would you normally cut a hole in a 401? It, it really doesn't make sense to me. I don't know about you guys, but that hurt a certain part of me a little bit, having to cut a hole there. But again, we're not gonna be using these, so. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can pull them out the rest of the way. Yeah, 
that's not working. Um, they're in there way hard. I mean, the reality is with how everything is right now, these really should have some tension on them, but I feel like they shouldn't have that, that much, much tension yeah. on them. All right, well, let's see. Tighten up these straps. Let's just see what happens when we, uh, you know, when we uh, pick up on the wing. Are we even? I left some extra slack on there. This is like nerve wracking. Right now there's stress on the joint where the bolts come out of. I don't want to force them out. Um, you know, we tapped them out, but they're kind of getting tighter and tighter. I don't want to force them out. I don't want to mess the spar up. I don't want my punch to move off of the bolt head and, and hit something. So, I just want to be as careful as possible. So what we're going to do, we're going to take two wing jacks. We're going to put them under the wings and stabilize everything and then jack them up and down um, just to kind of keep everything stable and see if we can't loosen up the joints in the wing so the bolts come out easily. My thought is now that we're, we're solid on both sides, like that solid, so if I pick up on this, it's gonna take all the weight and it should push it in this way. So I'm wondering if it'll, if it'll loosen this up. So what I'll do, if I get down here and start jacking a little bit, can you come over here and just kind of wiggle this bolt and see if we can't get it to where it's at it a little, free. little bit of like a looser, you know what I mean? What do you think? Nothing, huh? And we're like way off the ground here. I think the big thing I start thinking about is, man, getting those other wings on. <sighs> man, what's that gonna take? It would be so much easier just to cut out around <laughs> both of those with a Sawzall and we'd be done. But these wings are actually still good in their own capacity and I don't wanna mess them up just in case, like Joe said a little while ago, just in case the boat sinks. You never know. <laughs> It'll be the free abandoned Jason at that point, because I think, I think I'll lose it, so. Wish I still had my slide hammer. Yeah, I have a bunch of those. I think you'd be able to get in that flap as well to get them lower ones with it. I would, yeah. I think that's, I think that's might be the move, because then instead of like tapping them, we're, we're, we're tapping them this way. And the only thing we damage is the head of the bolt if anything damages. Yeah or the outside of here, but we're not gonna damage anything to do with the spars, which that's what I'm worried about. I don't wanna mar anything on the inside of the hole, and I don't wanna mar you know, anything around it or on the face of, of that spar because, well, it ruins it. So I think that's gonna be it. I think what we're gonna to have to do, I think we get a slide hammer. I'm, I'm like really worried about getting the new wings on as I'm, uh, as I'm doing this. And I have heard from many people that you know, putting wings, taking wings on and off is a lot of work and, uh, and it can be a little scary. So when we put the new wings on, I'm definitely gonna get a good team of people here um, and, and, and get the new wings on because I want it absolutely perfect. We're gonna go get a large slide hammer and make some type of contraption to pull these bolts out. Then hopefully we can get these wings off. So it looks like a little bit of ingenuity on a lighter slide hammer. We were able to get most all the bolts out of the top of the wing, but it takes a lot of moving the wing around and just getting the tension off the bolts. Because the last thing we want to do is force anything out or in and damage the spar or anything. So we've been like treating this very, very nicely. I have a ton of work to do. Just to give you an idea, just to get one bolt out, we have to move jack points, we have to have people moving the wing around, we have to use the crane. It's taken up to like a half hour per bolt. 
um, you know, just some taps instead of some heavy blows, again, because we want it to be perfect. So we're gonna keep working at this. Next time you guys see this, the wings are gonna be off and that fuselage is gonna get ready to go all across the country. Oh guys, and don't forget, we have our new Rebuild Rescue Coffee. This stuff's amazing. And our merch, hop over on our merch site and get yourself some coffee. Have a great day. Thank you so much.